much for being here. Um, if you're new to my channel, I appreciate it. My name is Laura. I'm going to be working on this 10 by 20 inch canvas doing a swipe. I haven't done a swipe in a long time, uh, but I do want to do a swipe and then stretch it out so that the cells get bigger or the lacing gets bigger, I guess I should say. So I've got several pa different palette knives here, and I've also got, um, these are this is just a cutting board from the dollar store that I cut into different sizes. So that's what I'm gonna swipe with. My plan is right now is to swipe on this end, swipe on this end, tilt it, and leave a little negative space in the middle. Now that could change, <laughs> but that's kind of my plan right now. I'm using gorgeous blues and red. So this is my base color. It's so pretty. It's turquoise. Um, now it is a couple of different turquoise. It was a table paint and then I needed a little, little bit more so I added some turquoise from Liquitex. This is teal by Golden. This is Carmine Red. And then this is Iridescent Blue Green. Such a pretty color. So it's gonna have a little bit of shimmer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put down some paint. Oops, just put down some paint in the middle. And what I'm gonna be swiping with is white. It's Amsterdam white and it's got some Australian Floetrol in it. Let's just start with that right there. And I hope I have enough paint just a little bit and I don't want to stretch it all the way out just yet because I'm going to be stretching it some more after I put my colors down but I just want to get a little bit of a base on it okay pop those air bubbles like I said I had to add a little bit more paint I didn't have quite enough so just make sure I get these air bubbles out okay I'm gonna start with the red. Like I said, I want to do some over here and then some on this side. So I'm going to put down a little bit of red here. Yeah. And a little bit of this teal, which teal and red together, I just, I love them. If you've seen any of my videos, I use teal and red. Not a lot, but I love it together. I've mentioned that before. There we go. And then this, I just have a tiny, tiny bit left, but it's plenty enough to make the painting. And I'm just gonna kind of drizzle it a little bit in this. There we go. Okay, there's one side. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna do it on this side. There's my red. turquoise and I'm the messiest painter I had paint all over took time out yesterday cleaned all my containers that I needed to clean I had a bunch and clean my floors I keep plastic down on my floors but um, you know it gets nasty or paint all over it not nasty but so you gotta pick it up clean it off every once in a while put down new plastic you know, just stuff like that. So, that's what I spent yesterday doing. Okay. Wonder if I should put... Oops, look, I dribbled it in there. I think that'll be okay. Wonder if I should put a little bit more red. I think I want to do a line of red in that turquoise. It's going to mix, but I think that'll be pretty. Just a little bit of red in there. Okay, now what I'm using, like I said, is Amsterdam white with a little bit of Australian blood draw. Yeah, I'm gonna start with this. It's thicker, I have a better palette knife that I use when I'm doing palette knife work, but this one's a little bit thicker and um, it holds up better when I do, do swipes. So, let me see. Just put a little bit on my palette knife here. I don't know if you can see me, we'll see. Hopefully you can see me. Just put a little bit and let it drip off. 
Now for me, it is so much easier for me to come towards myself <laughs> when I swipe. Um, you can go this way. It's just harder for me. So I'm going to come towards myself and probably turn my board. Gently and slowly. Okay. Ooh, I like that line that it left. Ooh, look at the cells from me wiping my tool. Okay. Wipe this off in between. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, I'm not going to do anything with that just yet, but I am going to turn my board. There we go. Keep saying board. My canvas. <laughs> and get me a little bit more, and I'm going to come this way with this one. Get some more Australian Floetrol on my in white. There we go. Do the same thing on this one. Gently and slowly. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow. Love it, love it. Love the colors and the cells are beautiful. So pretty. And again, I got cells here from where I <laughs> wipe my knife off. I don't want that much negative space in the middle. So, I might, I might add a tiny bit of red, a little bit more red on that. There we go. I'm gonna use Use a small palette knife to, you gotta think about this when you're doing it. It, it. It's challenging just for the fact that you're gonna be moving the composition to create a composition, I guess. Moving the paint to create a composition. And you want it to look good, so. Being even pretty with just the white. Love it. Okay, wipe that one off. Yeah, I don't like that. I love that there's a streak of red that goes right here. All right, for this, these two, I'm gonna do the same thing. Use that smaller palette knife. Just got a little bit of Australian Floetrol. I'm gonna come in this style. I don't know, I like that. Maybe I'll come this way. Leave a little bit. There we go. Just adding a little bit more Australian Floetrol. Between each swipe, you need to clean off your palette knife. Like I said, for me, it's just easier to come towards myself. There we go. Okay, I like that. I do think, like I said, I have to turn it just because it's easier for me to do it towards myself. I think I need to come over here and do another one. Yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit more red. Whoops, didn't have any. Add all the colors, just a little bit more turquoise. Just a tiny bit. Give me some Australian Floetrol on the back of my palette knife again. Just a little bit. Oops. 
colors. See what I did? I went under my paint, which that's okay. That's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit more around the edges so that it'll move well. There we go. Spread it out just a little bit. And this paint's a little bit thicker, so I didn't need to really paint my sides. Um, I could have, absolutely. But I think we're gonna be fine. I'm hoping I have enough paint. I'm gonna leave just a little bit, just in case after it dries. It doesn't, um, it, there was a spot that wasn't covered or, for some reason that I didn't see. And that way, since this is a, a, um, a paint that I made, if something doesn't look right, I can go ahead and cover it. All right, there we go. And you don't have to do the whole thing. I just can't help myself. <laughs> I don't know what it is, I just can't help it. And there's a dry piece of canvas right there. Okay. And I do have a little bit of that left. Say, I can't help myself. All right, good enough. Okay, so I'm gonna tilt it this way first. Move that. And we'll come back. Right now, I'm just trying to get my, there we go, paint all over the canvas, stretching it and coming back. And every time I do that, see it's stretching all these cells out, which is exactly what I want. Okay, this way. I'm gonna come back. Here we go. Oh, it's so pretty. There's dry canvas. It's not liking it. Oh, it's so pretty. There we go. Come across. See, all that's dry. Loving it. I'm gonna come down this way and then come back on this corner. Okay. I'll turn it so you can see it. Oh, well, I'm loving it. Oh, that is so pretty. That red is as vibrant as it can get. I love it. Got to fix some of the sides. Beautiful, beautiful colors. I absolutely love teal and red together. And then on this turquoise base, it is so pretty. Okay, I'm happy with it. Love the way it's come out over here on the corner and over here. Bright, bright, bold red. I think it's a very pretty piece, and I'm going to bring you down and show you the details. Okay, here is the overall piece. Now, on camera, the blue base looks, it doesn't look turquoise. It is very turquoise. So, I don't know why it's not capturing it, the true color, but wow. Gorgeous. Look at this. The red is just so vibrant. I mean, it just pops. And you've got some deeper pockets. And you can definitely see the shimmer. Look, even way out here. Yeah. Beautiful. I love 
the lacing. Look at that. And this over here is just gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Look at that red. And here's the side. Just drips down the side. It's so pretty. Deep richness. You've got some darker areas. Right here is gorgeous with the, there's some blue lacing and some white lacing and pink lacing. That's just so pretty. And then how deep and rich the red gets. You can definitely see the shimmer. I think I said that a minute ago, but and it, everything's going down the side beautifully. Here's this side. Yeah, I just like the whole piece. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Uh, that way, anytime I release a new video, you will be notified. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye.